What is up my Roger Bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War gameplay. This is from the alpha that I live stream since it came out and link to my Twitch will be down in the description below if you want, if you're on Twitch literally or have a tab open really quickly just put in Lord underscore originals just like my YouTube channel and you will see me. Once you see me just hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever I go live over there. Now, let's get into the video. So, what I want to talk about to you guys today is skill-based matchmaking in Black Ops Cold War's Alpha. Now, we'll just talk about Black Ops Cold War in general. So, day one of the Alpha, I was dominating people. I was getting 40 to 60 kills and very few deaths, maybe less than 5 or just above five deaths which is good i love that uh my friends were doing the same we were just beasting and absolute feasting then day two came and i said to my friend that skill based matchmaking was in the game and he said that's not good and it's not good it really really is not good we were playing we went I, he might have got 30 to 35 kills and 15 deaths most of the time I was getting near enough 25 to 30 kills and near enough the same deaths as him and you could definitely see that skill based matchmaking was in the game because the first game we played we got absolutely dominated we did terrible then the second game we played we did really well but then the third game we played we did really bad because we got dominated then the fourth game and fifth game then we did really really well and then it just it kind of went all over the place and I just don't understand why it did this and why this is actually a thing. So, what I think personally is skill-based matchmaking is good and bad. Now, I'll say the good and then I'll tell you bad. So, skill-based matchmaking is good from the point of view of casual players and Activision. Now, why Activision? That doesn't make any sense. Activision aren't playing the game. They're, well, they're marketing the game and everything like that. Yes, but who's getting all the revenue? Huh? Activision. Activision are getting money off the casual players. 90%, say 99% of the game of Call of Duty is made up of casual players. And these players just maybe, they might have work, they might just want to get on for a few games, one or two games, and then just pop off or whatever. And that's mainly what they do and they're not going to be like oh my god i'm gonna to have to kind of like sweat out here and everything like that and these are the people that be like oh yeah i'm having really i'm i'm having fun on this game and it's so fun and everything like that that's gonna tell them right well if they're having fun they're gonna stay playing the game if they're gonna stay playing the game they could potentially buy stuff on the store they could potentially buy the battle pass or the season pass whatever it's called and be like oh it's only a tenner you know i do play it near enough every day like for an hour or two i might as well just buy it i'll probably just rank up really quickly maybe new skins or bundles in the store i'd be like ah oh, yeah you know i probably buy this they're the bulk of the revenue then the one percent of people likes the pros the youtubers the kind of tryhards and the sweats we all get screwed because we're all playing against each other and we're playing at such a high level we have to sweat it out every game just to try and win so our our kds could look like after 10 games we could have a 5 kd another 10 games where skill skill based matchmaking is enabled then our KD could go down to a 160 KD because that's what happened to me in Modern Warfare. I had a 3.4 KD on the multiplayer side of it in my first 20 or 30 games. Then I decided, uh, you know what, I'll just play again with some of my friends again. And my KD went down to a 1.60. And I was like, wow, okay. Skill based matchmaking is a thing, man. Skill based matchmaking is a thing. But what I think for Black Ops Cold War is that we could potentially see skill based matchmaking. Skill based matchmaking. Jeez, I can never say that really quickly. Because of the casual players. 
Now, it is Treyarch. Treyarch could potentially listen to us and be like, look, we're going to we're gonna have a separate playlist. So, for example, League Play. League Play in Black Ops 4 was kind of was more or less skill based matchmaking and whatever rank you went into it took that into consideration took your score per minute and took your kd and was like okay well these players are near enough on the same level as you yeah they might not have the same uh kind of they might be platinum you might be gold or whatever and you have to play against them but you could still do good against them you could still kind of have to grind out some games and everything like that that's what kind of the ranked playlist is for and then once you go over to casual you're just like yeah i just want to i just want to relax i don't want to sweat it out like i did in league play then you just go straight over into casual and then you can just play like not never happen instead of being like shit i'm gonna have to sweat out sweat pumping off you you're there you won and you're like oh my god was that even worth it like you won by five points in hard point or something like that and you're like was it really even worth i just wanted a casual game where i didn't have to sweat it out and that's what needs to happen what i think personally instead of having skill based matchmaking what they should do is have level based matchmaking now loads of people were actually saying this and i actually agree with them because you could be level 120 say on modern warfare and if there is level based matchmaking then you could potentially be up against people that are level between a level 110 and a level 130 now some of these players could be really really bad and still have the level some of them could be good and then some of them could be really really good so you're kind of getting a mix of near enough both worlds you could be in the middle where you're above average player you're getting numerous kills a game you're going to be against somebody who could do potentially the same as you and then someone who's potentially going to do worse than you which is good you know I, I think that's a beautiful way to have it i think personally the way the games are found in black ops cold war on day one was extremely good i think there was kind of a fair level above the whole system because Yes, I could go on high massive kill streaks and get chopper gunners and everything like that. But then on the other side of it, it was competitive ish at the same time. I'm not saying that we blew people out or anything like that. Like some games people would rage quit, yes, because we were just absolutely dominating them. Like if you have somebody going 55 and 0 and then you're going 47 and 2, you you're gonna you're gonna like you're gonna make people rage quit. That's what me and my friend were doing. And yes, people are going to rage quit, new people are going to come in and everything like that. But the way the games were played, it was super, super close. Like, you could pop off, but yet, if the other team could kind of rack a few kills together and keep getting kills, maybe two in every life, they're going to slowly catch up with you if you kind of slow down then after maybe getting your chopper gun or something like that and that potentially always happens and it happened in the first day of the alpha of course then the second day just absolutely screwed us over and i'm hoping that today the third day probably the final day won't be that way as well but you know i know i've kind of babbled on but personally i think that there should not be a skill based matchmaking and there should be something like level based matchmaking if not level based matchmaking then they should do it where it's just casual just throw you in with anyone else just deal with it that's the way it should be because i played from i started in cod 4 playing call of duty but of course i went back just like my neighbor did jeff k baby and he played the first cod the second cod the third cod and then played all the way up from there as well modern warfare 2 modern warfare 3 black ops 1 and all of those so we've more or less all played or even i've played every single cod game now what i'm trying to say is black up or modern warfare 2 you were kind of just thrown in like there was no uh skill based matchmaking there wasn't anything to be like yeah you know what we're gonna put you in all with bad people no i was being put in people that were really really good at the game like like i remember playing some 
what's his name? Uh, it was like D D D K Dyn no, not D K Dynamite. I, I can't remember his name, but he actually commented on my YouTube channel a good few years ago in Modern Warfare 3 saying, hey, I remember playing against you in Modern Warfare 2. And um, he's got over a million subscribers now, which is really cool. And uh, just to say that you talk to a, or a YouTuber that big commenting on your YouTube channel. <laughs> nice. But I do want to say, back then, I was terrible at the game. I was absolutely shocking. But that didn't stop me from playing the game. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get to try and get better at this game. You know how I'm gonna do that? I'm gonna watch videos on it. I'm gonna I'm gonna see how pro players play. Well, actually, I didn't know about pro players really back then. But I was like, I'm gonna watch how T Merton plays. I'm gonna watch how Woody's Gamer Tag plays. I'm gonna play it like them. And that's what I did. I started playing like them. I started kind of using my mini map more. I started kind of knowing where people were always going to be and everything like that because I would watch, because I would watch numerous videos or vods of games that we played or that YouTubers basically just uploaded. And I was like, okay, well, people are going to be here on the stairs most of the time. People are going to be sniping down here. I want to stay away from there. And then. I came across somebody and they were like, you know, the best way to kind of get kills is maybe put a suppressor on your weapon. Don't go to the middle of the map the whole time because you're just going to get killed a lot. Flank and do everything like that. Uh, play the game and you'll just get better at it. And that's what I did. And that's what I don't understand why the players nowadays can't because are they just that bad at the game that they just can't do that? Or have they not got the motivation to actually say, you know what? I like this game. I want to get better at it. because that's the way I was. I like if I don't like a game and I can't get better at, it, of course I'm gonna stop playing the game. But that's only if the game is way too complex, like something like League of Legends. I'm not gonna play League of Legends for two hours straight and only just know one thing about the game or something like that. Like no way. At least with Call of Duty, you just pick it up and. You'll more or less know how to shoot, reload, throw out nades and everything like that. But, you know, that's just my opinion. My personal opinion, it shouldn't have skill-based matchmaking. Skill-based matchmaking should be in league play only or a ranked playlist separate to casual. And then casual, you're just thrown in with everyone. So you could literally have somebody who's a YouTuber that goes amazing. You could be another person that just goes above average and then have a bunch of people. Or even have a person that is below average and then have a person average. Like you're just going to be thrown in with a lot of people that are just absolutely random. So you could easily pop off. You could easily do terrible. It's just the way it's going to be. But yeah, that's it guys. That's just my kind of... Uh, thoughts on skill based matchmaking i know it was a very long video and i kind of kind of ranted a lot in this video but it was just off topic well it was off script so i just wanted to do it really quickly and i will have a video probably tomorrow saying how i thought the beta was and my thoughts and everything like that did i like it and everything like that so yeah stay tuned for that and yeah that's it guys hope you like favorite and subscribe this is the end of the video guys if you did like it, please hit the like button. Right beside the like button is a subscribe button that you can hit to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Beside the subscribe button is the notification bell that you can hit to stay up to date whenever I upload a video to my YouTube channel. Or whenever I go live on my YouTube channel. Which is rare. Speaking of live streams, like I said, I have a affiliate program now that I am on on Twitch. Link to that will be down in the description below. Once you're there, you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever I go live over there. I also have a Twitter account that I manually update whenever I go live on my YouTube channel or whenever I upload on my YouTube channel or whenever I go live on my Twitch channel. Link to that will be down in the description below as well. And yeah, as you guys, hope you like, favorite, subscribe and peace.